Hello there ladies and gentlemen, my name is Aki and today I'm going to bring you Terra. We're going to be taking a quick look at the character selection today and uh, a quick look at all of the classes that you will be able to play. I'm not quite sure what happened here with my load screen, it kind of froze up but yeah I suppose beta is beta so I'll let that fly for now. Well, here we are. First up we sign with the human male. He looks kind of dull, I think. Not really much to it. So we're gonna switch right through to the female. Well, at least it's a bit more entertaining to watch, I guess, but it still seems a bit boring to me. Now we have the Castanic males, which looks like J Rockers or something with demon skin. Yeah, it looks quite cool. I like it. And the females. Whoa. God damn. Yeah. Looks pretty amazing, I must say. I think I'm gonna roll with one of these at once. Now to the Amon. These big rock built boulder things. Yeah, and the females. Hmm. I'm not a fan. Let's go to people's favorite, the Popori. Ooh. They are so adorable. I just love the Poporis. I have to roll with one of these as well at one point. But let's see. It's only one weekend for the beta, so I'm gonna get as much done as I can. Here we have the alien, which are these small cutesy anime kind of characters. I like those as well. I'm a huge fan of anime, so... Love! Switch to the Baraka, which actually reminds me of uh, Darth Barris from Star Wars The Old Republic, if anyone else played that game. But yeah, big tanky fellows, fat guys. And now, the High Elves. Must say that it reminds me a bit of, um, of Aeon, with these really perfect feminine looking guys and the females well not much to say about that as well oh my god what's holding that dress well yeah I'm not let's focus they are pretty neat as well and I could see a lot of potential players for this class because of their beautiful looks but yeah let's try to actually create a character and take a look at the options and the classes. I'm going for uh, Kastanik first off, male, and taking you through some of the classes. First off, we have a warrior, dual wielding, and in the left hand corner um, you'll see that there's a star system that actually shows how much skill that you require to play the actual class. I'm not quite sure how they actually managed to do this, but I don't find it hard to actually play any of the classes that I've tried. So, yeah. Well, what we just saw before was the Lancer, and we moved forward to the Slayer, which holding a big ass giant sword and slash the way through everything. Now we reach the Berserker, which as you can see has a giant axe which deals massive AoE damage and stuff. The Sorcerer! I'm not quite sure what those weapons are called. It's like super laser disc from Tron that they swipe around. 
and the arch oh my god he's ridiculous but yeah your typical archer class with bow and arrow and a priest which i suppose is a healer oh man he looks pretty damn cool and the star is gigantic and last but not least we have a mystic who is uh, a buff kind of class with um, focuses on giving other players buff and themselves. I'm gonna go and head and create this sorcerer thing and show you the options. First off we have the presets and we have an awful lot of them which basically just lets you check out some a lot of different types of character creations. I'm just taking a quick look here at how I wanted this guy to look. And of course you also have a random generate button, which does exactly what it says. Randomize. Now we reach the features, which basically just changes um, the hairstyle and the horns. And I kind of like the different choices and all the Oh, you have so many colors to choose from. I just know when I'm gonna create my actual character and it's gonna take me two hours just to get through this because I want to do it all. Moving on to the face. It's where you can actually add some facial textures or things like that and really choose how you want your character to look. And again, you just have like these million colors to choose your skin tone and it can really be ridiculous like this or you can go for a more Nordic type of guy or yeah I like this and we're going to adornments which is basically just um, his mustache or his beard and scars on this character so yeah, I'm gonna go with the uh, number two. And how to find details. As you see right over here in the right top corner, you now have a lot of options to really just sit down and make your character look exactly what like you want it to. As you see I'm right now I picked the ears and I'm just playing around figuring out how I want the ears to be. And I think I'm gonna go with a small ear. Now we have mouth and you have... Oh my god, how many options are there? Like seven? Just for the mouth. It's insane. I could use ages just to do this. And then we move on to the nose. And you have even, even more options just for the nose. And the eyes. It, it's the same. You can just do everything in this game now we move on to the next little thing which is a preview of the armor sets that you can acquire in the game later on the first one of course is the starting um, set and the second one is probably I, it's, it's just a guess it's a, it's a lower level one and a mid level one as we're seeing right here and a high level one which looks pretty damn wicked i like it i like it a lot but yeah and uh, i just want to make sure that you know you can't choose this outfit from the start you have to look like your basic beginner skill i'm going to find a name but pretty much all my names are taken and the game was about to crash at me. And I know I forgot to check on uh, the last option down there, the voice. You can change your character's uh, in-game voice and you have about five different options and it's really not that important to me so I kind of forgot. Well thank you all for watching, I hope to see you again soon. Have a good day, bye bye.